Welcome to the SCORE webinar on building your own website. This is the first webinar in four of our Do It Yourself series on websites. My name is Virgil Dismeyer, and I am a SCORE business counselor in the Minneapolis chapter. I am excited that you may be developing your own website. I have developed three sites using templates and assist the webmaster on our chapter site. With me today is Holly Jo Anderson with Veritas Marketing, who will share in the presentation. First, some housekeeping. We will take questions at the end, so if you have a question, type it into the chat window so that we can assemble everyone's concerns. Now, here is Holly whose company provides us with the technical guidance we need for these webinars. She will introduce herself. Thank you, Virgil, and welcome to all of our visitors. I am the owner of Veritas Marketing. We were founded in 2001. Veritas Marketing is an integrated business-to-business -business marketing agency. Taking this webinar should have been preceded by the learning list posted on, your website, on our website. We will be building on this knowledge. SCORE's eBusiness Now does a great job providing an overview of websites and related issues. Building a perfect website workshop offered by eBusiness Now is a key background learning. Uh, this workshop helps you prepare for the challenges you are about to embark upon. In this webinar, you will learn useful terms and website resources, how to use online website builder tools, considerations before, beginning, before getting started, how to choose and register a domain name, selecting the best design for your website, customizing a template for your business, developing a compelling content, building and publishing your website, and how to monitor your website traffic. It may be helpful to compare building your website to a home. These elements will be covered in our presentation, and you will follow the path as you use the web builder tool of your choice. Your address is your domain name, web address, or URL. The land is uh, similar to where your website resides, which in this case is a hosting company. Uh, you are the architect or web designer. The home is your website. Make your home unique. What goes into your home is the content. Selecting a domain name is one of the most important decisions. This link is on our learning list decision without reading the article cited here. Keep your domain name short and descriptive. Stay away from cutesy web addresses don't use hyphens, and select something memorable. Try to make your domain name and legal name the same to help fix it in the viewer's minds. Do a Google search for your preferred domain name and see what is found. Then you will be able to decide what to use when you get to the domain registration step. There are many resources online to research and register domain names. .com is still the preferred extension, but there are several others such as .net, .biz, and .us. There is a multitude of new extensions available. Search for your preferred domain name and see if any are available. Be careful if you register a domain name on a, at a website you do not intend to use for website development. Transferring a website address to another company can be complicated and take time. The free registration offered by many vendors assumes that you will use their website uh, to build your website and uh, use their tools. We will be using homestead.com to acquire and register a domain name later in this presentation. The second element of building a website is to find a hosting company. This is going to be easy since most vendors including, include hosting and website building tools as part of their template package. 
It is very important to keep your web hosting account and login information in a safe place. You will need these to access your website builder tools in the future. Look at any website. You will immediately see two elements, navigation and content. Navigation is how you move around a website. Links, menus, um, site maps help your visitors find relevant content. Content includes text, images, forms, uh, video links, and other elements. You may use many of these in your website. Search engines include Google, Yahoo, Bing, Ask, and other resources. The viewers type in what they are looking for in the search bar, and the results are displayed. This allows them to link to the most appropriate match or matches for their search term or phrase. Search engines, or SEO, um, include the elements on your website and other tactics that allow your website to be displayed in search results on the search engine. We cover this in detail in one of the other webinars in this series. Your website vendor will provide the necessary features to assist you with search engine optimization. Website analytics allow you to see and measure visits, the average time visitors spend on your website, what website or search engine were used to link them to your website, what geographic area they are visiting from, and more. Basic ana analytics are supplied with part of your web builder package. A website template is the starting point provided by the vendor to help you with your design and construction of the website. You provide the creativity, unique content, and call to action. There are many vendors, vendor options with website builder tools. They all offer templates with specific types of businesses and libraries of images for you to use. Uh, when v reviewing vendors, consider the options available for, for customizing and upgrading your website in the future. Vendors typically provide tutorials to show you how easy it is to use if it has the flexibility to meet your long-term needs. Type web templates into Google or another search engine and you will see a host of options to choose from. Because of the long-term revenue from hosting upgrades and related products, this is a competitive business. These vendors are anticipating that you will need more than just a basic website. This webinar and the illustrations are based upon using Homestead's online website tool. They offer a free one-month trial like most of the comp their competitors. But at the end of the trial period, a basic rate per month will be charged. You then control the monthly rate by the options you choose to add, like additional pages and email addresses. Uh, the principle, principles discussed in this demonstration are applicable, applicable to nearly any online website creation vendor. You have three basic options to build a website, do it yourself, by using a website builder tool, hire an independent contractor. We have a webinar in our series for this called Hire a Professional. Engage a commercial website design company. There are many who offer template to custom design options. Your chosen web hosting vendor will probably have this as an option. Before you start, do your homework. What is your competition doing? What are their selling messages? How are you different? What messages are important to communicate to your target audience? Your website must reflect your strategy, strategy, objectives, and style. These guiding principles will influence your choice of text, images, and other content. What is the purpose of your website? To provide only a digital brochure? Facilitate online sales of products or services? support the sales process, educate a target audience, be an industry resource, or all of the above. The strategy for your website will influence the entire design. 
provide rich, unique content. Um, this is essential to draw visitors to your website. Think like your customer. What information do they want to gain from visiting your website? Uh, a map may not be needed if your customers will not be visiting your physical location. E-commerce functionality allows you to sell directly to visitors online. How many pages will be enough for your website? Your branding and messages from other promotional materials should be used on your website. Continuity and consistency are important to your marketing. Each web page has a page title. Page titles are an important part of search engine optimization. They also inform visitors about the content on a given page. Examples of page titles include home remodeling, commercial interior design, repair services, and replacement parts. Each page needs a description or meta description. The description is the listing uh, that appears in each result, in each search result. It informs potential visitors of the content that you are offering on a given web page. This allows them to decide if that is what they were looking for. Keywords or search terms are words or phrases that a visitor uses to find your website. Those keywords or phrases should appear on your web page title, description, and body text. It may be helpful to spend some time coming up with a list of terms and words that, are, that a prospective customer may use to find your website before you start building your content. All of the text you use should be short and easy to read. Bullets, headlines, and short sentences are best. Accumulate the images you want to use. They can be from any source, but if they are not your own, uh, make sure that you have permission to use them. Most of these images will be JPEGs, uh, PNG, or GIF files. You may use existing Word, PowerPoint, or Excel documents. Uh, converting documents to PDF format make them load faster and may be easier for download, to download and print. Since you will be using a variety of content, it will be easier to manage if you have a dedicated folder on your computer. Builder tools will ask you to upload materials to um, store online with your website. As you develop more content, it, it will be easier to update if everything is organized together. You can edit the materials offline on your computer and then upload revisions. Virgil, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you, Holly. Hopefully you will follow Holly's advice before you start building your website. Now let's start building a website. Begin by going to homestead.com or your preferred vendor's website. We have opted to use homestead.com for our educational purposes. As Holly stated, there are many other online vendors for creating your own website. The screen shows three steps for Homestead. The vendor's website, select your user's ID and password to log in to your website in the future, and then study the opening screen. Browse the add-on services so that you understand the breadth and scope of the options that Homestead makes available. You will decide what options to use later, but get your basic website up first. Please note, if you have selected a different provider, these screens will look different. First, you will need to register a domain name. If you already have a domain name from another source, enter it into the space under Use a Domain You Already Own. It can take 60 days to transfer a domain name from one host to another. If you want to register a new domain using Homestead.com, enter it in the space provided under Get 
a new domain. Their tool will check to see if the domain name is available and provide suggestions for alternatives. If you have done your homework, you already know it will be available. If the name is available, the program will ask if you want to protect other extensions such as .biz or .net. You are given an opportunity to register additional domain names with similar words or even misspellings. These alternate web addresses can be set up to redirect to your primary web address. The second step is to select a design compatible with your business type. There are many pre-designed templates, styles, colors, and layouts. Look at other websites on the internet to determine what you want yours to look like. This takes a little artistic eye, but you can change it later on. Your research will have given you an idea of what appeals to you and matches your industry. Determine the types of pages you will need. The online tool we have chosen gives you five pages in the basic rate. Many times a home page, an about us page, and a products or services page is all that is needed. Third, you will have to start constructing the content. The website editor, also known as a content management system or CMS, is your tool to modify the content. Remember, building your content is like furnishing your home. Make your content unique. You edit one page at a time. You can add text, upload images, and logos. You can add social media links, create forms, and more. Do not click on the Publish button until you are ready to have your website go live on the Internet. Until you publish, you are the only person who can view your work in progress. Now, let's look at the website editor in which is called Site Builder in Homestead. Get acquainted with your website editor. Click each menu item to see what you can do. Some menus will direct you to upload a logo or a document. A properties window appears on the right side of your editing screen and will give you options for changing from the default values. Property windows are shown on the next slide. View our website, www.scoredemo.com, to visualize what some of the content options might look like. As a suggestion, you may want to make a screen print of the, des the design default pages and content in case you want to revert back to them in a later, at a later time and you forgot how they looked. It is easy to overlook the settings, which each of the 16 editing elements have. Each has its own help resource. With the use of settings, you can make your elements unique. The ability to link to another page allows your viewer to jump to the content that matches it. You should avoid having the menu or any other element position change as you move from page to page. Lock the position and the size so that it, each draft of each page will be consistent. Experiment with these features as you try out each element. Save your work as you go. Preview to see your handiwork and make any edits you want. Substitute a library image that they offer for your own image. Rearrange the blocks of text, images, and navigation. Proofread all of your text to be sure there are no errors. Ready? Okay. 
now click publish and your website is on the internet. Others can now see and find your website online. Wait a day or two and then look for your own website by typing in your domain name, keywords, and so forth. Search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, and so forth should find your site. Now is the time to take a critical look at your work. Then log in again and make modifications. You can return to the website editor at any time to change your website and republish. Most online website tools have an analytics program built in. Learning to use these statistics can help you measure the success of your website. These statistics will tell you how a visitor got to your site, how long they stayed, what technology they used, say a PC or an iPhone, the type of browser, and so forth. Look at where a visitor entered your website. That could tell you to change keywords in the text on other pages. Adjust your content as the statistics tell you what is working. It is important to make important changes to your website, periodic changes to your website, so the search engines don't think your website is stagnant. We mentioned this demonstration website earlier. View it to see most of the features in Homestead's Site Builder. This is the home page of the demo website. Click around to learn how you might use these features. 16 editing features doesn't sound like much, but they will serve most of your content needs. Try each of them to see if they will enhance your design. Rearrange your page to emphasize your points. Grab the viewer's attention. If you want a feature that is not included in your website editor, you can still incorporate that feature into your website by using a third-party vendor and a link to that vendor. An example would be the use of a calendar. We have used this technique on scoredemo.com in our chapter website which is minneapolis.score.org, where we use a constant contact calendar. The second page of our demo uses four types of documents that you might upload and make available to your viewers. Your documents may be of products, how-to manuals, images of services in use, and so forth. Note the page header I chose to use, Score Demo, Small Business Consulting, Do-It-Yourself Website. These are all keywords that viewers may use in finding this site. This is in addition to the page name and page description that a search engine will use to display research results. Include a call to action like buy now, contact us, limited supply, and so forth. The third page in our demo site is called About Us. This is a page that allows a viewer to examine your credentials, social media links, and so forth. If you have customer testimonials, this is a good place to put them. Look at your competitors. This is just a simple demo. We did not include a shopping cart, a PayPal button, or other e-commerce features on any of the pages. We have another website built with this same tool that you may want to view. That website is www.biz-tools.biz, which we use as SCORE mentors to provide details to our clients, like 
an LLC operating agreement in a PDF format. It has many pages so you can see the evolution from a basic website to a more complex one. You are now in competition to be found on the Internet. Your website provider may get your website listed on other websites as part of their service. Be proactive and submit your website with Google and Bing. Look for free directories in your industry. Get listed on Google Plus and Bing directories particularly if you have a local physical presence in your community. Local search marketing, which is free and creates the pins on a map when you search for a vendor. Link your website to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or other social media channels. Update your social media pages to link back to your website so you have a complete circle. You have a website. Are you satisfied? We offer additional webinars in this series to help you if you want to take this basic website a step further. Maybe you've learned enough and you want a professional web developer to take over. Our second do-it-yourself module gives you the steps for hiring a professional and what you should expect from them. You may want a professional to critique and improve what you have already done. There are many options to choose from. If you are happy with your basic website but you want to expand the number of pages or add other features, we have a module called Update Your Website. And this will show you many of the options available from Homestead. This will save you time by going through this webinar to decide what options you might want to investigate. We are now at the fourth module, and we ask you, are you achieving your original goal? The fourth module addresses how people find your website by simple search engine optimization, or SEO. You can use SEO, AdWords, and social media integration and other tactics to increase your web traffic. We call this webinar, Find Your Website. All of these webinars are listed on the Minnesota SCORE website, which is www.score-min.org slash pw-webinars. At this point, we'll take questions from our webinar audience. So Holly, what do you have for us at this time? Has anyone typed anything in? Holly? Yes, actually, let me read the first one here. Do you have suggestions on drafting text content and laying out a page to make the viewers stop and read it? Um, Virgil, I think I'll take this one if that's okay with you. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, have one item on the page that will be the focal point. Too many small items on a page makes it difficult to read and too busy. Design the page with intuitive eye flow, left to right, top to bottom. Don't use too many fonts, uh, font styles and colors. Pick one for a headline and one for body copy and stick to them. Keep the text short yet informative. Bulleted text is very easy to read online. Use headlines and subheadlines um, that are short, two to, five year, two to five words in length or slightly longer. Text that is reversed out or white on a background image or color is difficult to read. Um, it's more difficult than black on a white or light background. Virgil, should I read another one? Yeah, let's do. We've got time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you have any suggestions 
for selecting keywords for your web, web uh, page titles and page descriptions and text. Virgil, do you want to take that one? Yes, I'll repeat something that either Holly or I said, and that is put on your customer hat and think like they would. What words would they use if they were looking for your product or service or even your company? What would a customer type into the search engine to find your business? Make a list of your top keywords. You can also use the Google Keyword Tool or free keywords from a company called Word Tracker to suggest words and see their popularity. Work them into your page titles, page descriptions, and context, content text. And if they don't work, go back and rework those pages. But there is no magic. You have to think like your customer. Very good, Virgil. Um, I have one more question here. Um, if I search for images on Google and use my web web uh, to use on my website, how do I know that a po photograph is copyrighted? Virgil, I think I'll take that one. Okay. All images that you did not create or photograph yourself are copyrighted by the author. Um, it is best to use your own images or royalty-free images that the editor website tool uh, uses or provides for you in their library. You can also purchase images from various affordable websites like Shutterstock and iStock. Uh, Virgil, another we have another one? question okay. here. Should I I'll read it? Yep. Um, if I get frustrated with my do-it-yourself website options, where do where and how uh, do I find a professional to help me? Well, you're a professional, Holly, so why don't you answer that? I will do. Thank you, Virgil. Uh, hiring a professional is covered in one of the other webinars in this series. It's important to get an estimate from more than one vendor and to check their references. Review their pro portfolio of other websites that they have built. Um, ask what services they provide. Do they offer everything that you need? Ask them about search engine optimization. They should know the basics. Uh, if they don't, they are not a very good web designer. What and how do they integrate social media? Uh, what and how do they integrate social media? Virgil, do you want to take the next question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what did, what did, was the question? Oh, um, if I don't get any response or action on my website. What do you suggest? Well, first, I would suggest don't get impatient. It takes several months for search engines to find you and index your keywords and run it through their internal system. Second, recheck your website editor to see that you have not overlooked filling in some data, like a page title, uh, image alternate titles and page descriptions with keywords. And third, be sure you are listed in local directories, Google+, local Yahoo, Yelp, and so forth. And finally, we will offer more tips in our fourth do-it-yourself webinar called Find Your Website or Simple SEO. But you have to be patient because you're competing with every other website on the internet. Okay, do we have more, any more? We do. Um, here's another one. Where can I get help in using a template product? Virgil, do you want to do you want to take that one? Yes, uh, I'll take that because I like Homestead for this reason, but all vendors that have built it your own website tools have a help link. And many also include a chat feature. I find the chat is very helpful so that you can type in your question and their technician can answer you on the spot. Some uh, vendors have a community where users of their software share questions and solutions, and I have found that very helpful. And if you can't get your answer from those sources, 
you can always call the vendor's helpline. Oh, great. Thanks, Virgil. Um, here's another question. How long might it take to get my website up and running if I use a builder tool? Um, I can answer that one. All right. Uh, a PC savvy user can probably get a website up in about eight hours uh, after it is uh, just to improve its content look and feel. Um, as Virgil mentioned earlier, websites should be frequently changed. Um, add, add content and adjust your website when it's needed. We have one last question, Virgil. I will read it here. Do you have any template-based websites I could look at? Go ahead, Virgil. Okay. Yes, uh, uh, I, you could look at our chapter website, which is www.minneapolis.score.org. This is a master template that was created in Drupal and which each SCORE chapter across the country personalizes for their own local use. But that is a rather complex website, and yet it is a template. And I also earlier mentioned the uh, one that our mentors use. It's www.biz-tools.biz. And that's another example, plus, of course, the one we have used here in this webinar, which is scoredemo.com. But those are three that you might look at to see whether um, uh, how a template can be used. And Holly, do you have anything to add? Um, not, not really at this time, and Virgil will run out of time, so I'm going to let you uh, finish up and uh, go ahead. Okay. I want to mention, emphasize that uh, we have not probably answered all of your questions, uh, but we encourage you to go to your local chapter and establish a relationship with them. Uh, you can find them listed on our score-min.org website. If you're not from Minnesota, we encourage you to uh, go to the national site, which is score.org, and type in your zip code, and you will find a SCORE chapter someplace in your area. And finally, uh, we have a catch-all that we have a dedicated email address. It's on the screen. If you have a question that you can't find an answer to any place else, send us an email and include your zip code, phone contact, contact and a specific question, and we will try to answer it for you. Now, as a nonprofit organization which is dedicated to helping you start or grow a business, we must make these disclosures. We rely on various experts to present a topic, and the content is strictly for your education. SCORE Minnesota, nor any of its chapters, endorse any specific vendor or approach. And finally, any screenshots of websites and so forth are provided only for illustration and may not apply to every situation or other vendors. This is a major step for your company, so approach developing a website with care. In closing, this webinar is made possible through the efforts of several organizations. We want to thank them for their cooperation in this effort. First, we recognize the tools that SCORE National has made available to our clients. Second, we appreciate that Homestead.com has allowed us to use screenshots from their site builder software as a basis for this discussion. They have been great to work with. Third, we thank Holly's company, Veritas Marketing, who has provided technical guidance to our webinar efforts 
and participated in this discussion. And fourth, our whole educational effort through webinars is made possible by funding support from SPEDCO, a Minnesota development company. We thank you for your attention. Please look for other webinars in this series as well as the many other educational tools offered by SCORE. With that, we close. Goodbye and good luck. <laughs>